So you take the shapes out of your packet, hold it up to the light so that you can see that shiny side and put the shiny side onto the wrong side of your scraps of fabric. You need to allow enough, enough for the seam allowance around the shapes, so at least a quarter inch if you can. If you're really short on fabric you can go slightly smaller, but for modern hexes when the edges are not going to be stitched down we want a, a reasonable seam allowance tucked under there so it's not going to fray out or come out once it's glued. Roughly cut out with your beautiful Karen Cake Buckley scissors. So we've ironed it with a hot dry iron until it's stuck just quickly and then we're cutting off those seam allowances. Again approximately quarter inch or as large as you can go on your pieces of fabric. I did decide later that I didn't need to trim these seam allowances, I could be quite lazy and just leave them as a square or whatever there was around there. So if you're using a mini charm pack of two and a half inch squares then um, it's quite easy just to leave it on there, it doesn't really matter, it's going to be stuck underneath. Then we take our Tack It Easy little tool here and place the trimmed shape in the middle of it. You just need to use a nail to get your first side started and make sure that it's pushed right up against one of the creases. So just use a fingernail to make sure it's pushed right up in there and then you put the glue along one side, bend it over, open it up, glue the next side, bend it over, open it up and so forth. As you do each side just push it right into that crease so that we're getting as tight a shape as we can. Our papers aren't quite as stiff as the cardboard templates if you're using those so you can't quite feel it into the crease just as well but it goes in together quite nicely. I did try doing opposite sides and see if that was any better but didn't make much difference so I tended to just go around in a circle. If I haven't trimmed those seam allowances like that one there and it's, they start to not glue quite so well you can always hit it with your iron and get them nice and flat but that wasn't really necessary. I just spent a fair bit of time gluing them all down. I did have 144 odd ones to do so there was quite some time and you'll see in a minute I didn't do them all in one session. The water was nice outside so I chose to uh, move my little setup outside next to the pool. The kids are in the pool and you'll see here in a minute how I finish them all off. Here I am, Mr Bentley there supervising, had a book to read in my breaks, nice bit of shade, kids in the pool, nice cold drink and here it is in slow motion so you can just see what I'm doing. Not the best video but um, you can see how we're going here. You can see that I haven't trimmed all my shapes. Some are trimmed, some aren't and all those edges just folded over nicely. Here in slow motion so you can just see how it's working. Pushing it up into that crease, folding it over. I just check the seconds out as well and make sure that the edge of the paper is right in the crease of the card push it in towards the card as I'm folding it over so it's nice and tight up against that edge but not rolling the paper and we're just pushing down.